guys, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna run some errands. I'm all done up because today is kind of like our date today. And um, we're gonna go, um, Mike's gonna run some errands and we are going to do a little bit of shopping, but shopping, like things we need. And then we're just gonna figure out from there where we wanna eat. I know I want to eat like, I don't know, some pasta, sushi, katsu. He wants to try no sandwich place, but I'm just like, you know, people are just seeing sandwiches. It's not gonna, I don't know. That's the, for me, if I was like a viewer, I would be like really tired. I want some real food. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and see what we're gonna do. And I'll see you in the next one. Well, now I am. So the soaker is super excited. We decided to eat Mongolian hot pot. It's in Beaverton. And I'm excited because it's not sandwiches. <laughs> Poor hot dog. sandwich out there. Maybe they got the little bunny sandwiches. Probably, but yeah. I'm gonna try it and get my reviews on this. That's what we're gonna get right there. And you get to make it right there. What is it? What is this again? Um, half and half. Half and half. Ooh. Now this is some real stuff. It's a ginger and garlic. Show this one And this what's what's this one called? That's just a regular, regular whatever they use. Oh, so you boil it in here? Yeah. Okay. Already boiled. Which one is this one? Beef and lamb. Beef and lamb. Okay. Thank That's you. freaking amazing. So we get to put some stuff. Now this is like legit. Go with the beef here. So that place was actually really good. What? I'm talking. It was actually really good. We spent like, was it 40, about 45. We got the combo that had like lamb and beef with some fish, some shiitake noodles. It was really good. If you have, if you've been to a Korean barbecue place, it's like that, but with soup. But I would give it a five. Mike gives it a four because the dumplings aren't as good as Dragon House. It's a place in California. But I would totally recommend I give it a five. Price, you get your money's worth. Taste, it tastes good. Good customer service. And we're about to, this Asian place right here, babe. And we're about to hit up this Asian place. That's what I'm talking about. 
some actual fresh fish. Of course, I don't eat those kind of fish. Living here for was it three years? We don't have like the good food that we have in California, like the authentic Asian food, Mexican food. It's either they don't have them here, or we just haven't discovered around the area to try them. I guess. I saw these and I wanted to do a spicy noodle challenge with Mike. And he doesn't want to do it. No, no. And he's Mexican. Oh no, I actually want to do it. Doing it. Do it. I'm not doing it. What kind of challenge is a challenge if you're doing it by yourself? Are you going to cook lunch? Yeah. We're at BJ's. We're at BJ's and I just ordered a pizuki because I'm starving. Welcome back. So we're back home and we ran some errands, obviously. Just came after we went to the Asian store. Sorry, this is uh, after we went to the Asian store, we went to some places to get some stuff, I guess grocery. And I was actually so hungry. So I got some Kazuki to go. I'm gonna be really excited. I don't need to do a review on this because I'm pretty sure majority of those try. I got the gluten free kazooks. So, so I think I'm gonna call it, call it night and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.